Okay, I, for, for this demonstration, I have my able assistant, Parker. Parker, smile at your admiring audience. And uh, we will be demonstrating transverse standing waves. I'll also demonstrate traveling uh, transverse waves. Here's a traveling wave. I'm starting the wave by creating a disturbance here with my hand that is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. So I'll move my hand up and down, and you'll see that the little bump in the spring travels from me to Parker and then back to me again. And you'll notice that when the wave hits Parker's hands, because hand, he's holding it firmly, what was a peak heading toward him converts itself into a valley as it bounces off of his hands. So then a standing wave is where you pick a frequency that matches the length of the string in such a way that the, the waves created from my side of the string and bouncing off of Parker's um, coincide with each other and reinforce each other to create a standing wave pattern. The um, lowest frequency standing wave pattern is this one. It's called mode, M-O-D-E, one, or the first harmonic, or in other words, also called the fundamental mode. It's the lowest frequency mode that you can get in a transverse standing wave. If I double the frequency of that mode, I get the second harmonic, or second mode, and sometimes called the first overtone. And this one, if you'll notice, is going twice as fast as the fundamental mode. It has a node that's exactly halfway between Parker and me. And that's a node where, where there's approximately no motion going on. Two, one, two. So now I'm going to try and triple the frequency and get a standing wave pattern that coincides with the third harmonic or second overtone. Um, let me try again. Okay, I think I've got it approximately now. I think I had it for a little while there. That's the third mode, where the, where the string vibrates in three separate segments. And there's actually an infinite number of these modes that you can get. And um, see if I can get one of the higher modes. I think that's four. And, um, and then if you're really, really good, you can get five, six, seven, eight, etc. So notice that with each mode, there's a particular frequency that I have to vibrate at in order to pre create that mode. So one-to-one -one correspondence between the modes and the frequencies. That's standing waves.